That's right, it's Monday. Monday is Seniors Day at the Salvation Army. So we are here to see if we can find some deals. Wow, it feels very empty in here. There's usually tables along the wall. They may have already been wiped out for the day. There's hardly anything on the shelves here, man. It's crazy. Let's see what we got here. Seaside, $5.99. You look for damage. It is definitely low pickings here. I like the look of this one. It looks more modern, but you know, this is one of those things. At a dollar, I'll stick it in the cart. Sue found a creamer. It's not priced, but it's very nice, so we'll get a price on it. What are you finding? It's got a cowboy hat. Oh my gosh, we so, so could have sold that this weekend. I know. It's Save it for Fall Diamond D? Yes. How much is it? Uh, I swear they don't have any price tags on anything today. Weird. All right, throw it in the buggy and we'll ask. I don't see any damage, so yeah. No, yeah, I'm going to save it for Diamond D. These were here last week. They're really kind of pretty, but even at a dollar, I don't know. They're very shiny. What do you think? Get them, don't get them. I do think they were here last week. Even the glassware looks like slim pickings. So let's see if anything glows. There's not much here today though. Just in general, there's just not much. My glowy light says nothing. This is pretty. It, would be a heck of a thing to ship. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. Any interesting markings? Oh, it's marking, so maybe something. Got some crazing. Oh, no, there it is. Big crack. Too bad. Too bad. I'm having Sue do the light because mine was very dull. That one definitely looks like it. Mine was on most of the weekend and just didn't have very good power in it. No glow, no glow. No glowing. But she found one little thing. Two. Oh, two. Somebody's been through with their lights already. Hey, there's some interesting canisters down there. So I feel like this probably is ironstone. I don't see any markings, but that big chip makes me sad. I just can't decide if I should get it anyway and maybe just use it without the lid, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards at a dollar. Handmade art is always interesting. I'm just not sure if I'm digging the grapes. Maybe I need to look up who the artist is. Why do they always put, the, oh, there's a big chip in it. Why do they always put the labels over the artist marks? It's very sneaky. Hmm. I like this tea, uh, teapot, or I guess it's a coffee pot. It's probably false graph. That's my guess. Um, let me look it over and make sure it doesn't have any major chips. If it doesn't, I'm definitely picking that up. sweet these little bells are yes they might be Christmas but I think with the decor on them I think they're really charming um, they're going to my cart okay, this one's very interesting to me it does have a little chip right here but it looks old like I have newer versions of this one I can't tell if there are markings but I like it and Sue has found stuff I'm kind of on a dish kick for whatever reason. China. China. Well, we I do know we have a buyer. Mentioned. But that would make a bird feeder for me. Okay. Um, and I think that would make a bird feeder for me. Okay. And then I had some really cute plates. I like that um, pit, uh, the little creamer. Oh, and the creamer. I knew you would like the creamer. I forgot about it. Yeah, it's cute. So, yeah. You can see I've been... You've been finding um, stuff. I've been finding stuff. All right, well. Do I need a separate cart? You might need a separate cart. Yeah, starting to kill me smalls well i mean this is what happens you and i sort of flit off to different areas and we always see different things it's true i need to look at some of the frames this time because i have art for frames but i need bigger ones Find me a flat back. 
baskets. They're nice for tables. It's interesting. These look like being almost the same size here. Well, I guess one is a little larger than the other. I'll take both of these sets. They're nice. I like those. Good for vignettes, too. It's a pretty little Asian-style teapot. No markings, specifically. Oh, and there's another giant crack. I hate it when that happens. This is very pretty. I like the blue. I think I'm going to throw that in the cart. Clearly, Sue still hasn't gotten herself a cart. Oh, you mean to try to make room? You mean to try to make room? Give up some of my cart to you? Come over and snatch my basket. Huh. You need, may need to put your stuff in it. I've been loading it up, as you can see. I'm stacking. Well, hello, lovely. Aren't you pretty? Hmm. You made it in England. I think we're going to pick this one up. And here's a quick reminder that you can follow us on all social media at Vintage Bee Design. And we have a community in Facebook called Creating the Hive or Creative Con Vintage Bee. And I've just started this month a new coaching group. Membership is only $20 a month. There's lots of discounts. Links in the description below. Let's get back to crafting. All right, we are at the Goodwill on San Jose. Let's see, what is it? Green is 40% off today based on the tag I'm seeing at the door. So that's what we're looking for today, Sue. Thank you. Thank you. 